How's it going everybody? This is Bang Bang Bo. I have a quick video for you. Um, I can't really edit them. I'm having trouble with my computer. Um, this is a Beretta Model 81. Um, nothing in the chamber. Um, I just wanted to do a quick review of this because um, I just got it and I, I love this gun. It uh, takes 32 ACP. It's 12 rounds. I'm in New Jersey, so I actually had to pin my magazine at my FFL to 10 rounds. So this only fits 10 rounds, but uh, you know, cause those extra two rounds would really allow me to just do horrible things, I'm sure. But anyway, um, I haven't been posting much videos. I'm uh, studying for law school entrance exams to, um, you know, go to law school. Um, I just wanted to do a quick review of this for anybody thinking about them. Um, I did a hand select through classic firearms. There's a couple dings on the sharper edges. Um, they are noticeable, but it's really not that bad. Um, other than that, the gun's pretty pristine. You can see it has, uh, this was, I guess the police, I'm not sure really, um, had it. The grips are in fair condition. There's scratches and scuffs and the safety as well as other like levers are worn at the tip. Um, so it's not like matte black. It's like it has almost a stainless steel appearance on the edges. Uh, same here, like you can see the chips, like when you go through like that in the paint. Um, same on this side, there's more dings and stuff. This is the hand select. I'm sure that if I didn't do the hand select, I would have gotten slightly worse condition. Um, if I do get another one, I'm probably just gonna get one hand select again. I, I they got a new shipment of them and apparently they are in better condition than when I ordered. I thought that these would go out of stock like instantly. So I pulled the trigger immediately. Um, I'm not gonna chamber it around, but um, it's, it's very light. Um, it's a very light firearm. I don't have the specs on it. Um, the, I have the 84 FS Cheetah in 380. Again, this is 32 ACP. Uh, this one does not have a safety decocker. Um, so when you put it on safe, uh, the 380 Cheetah, it, it decocks it and puts it into double action only. This also does not have a magazine safety disconnect, meaning that you can still fire, uh, the gun if, um, around is in the chamber and the magazine is out, I believe. I haven't tested it, but I, I don't think the disconnect is there because I can still pull the trigger. Again, I'm gonna safety check the weapon. Right, chamber's clear. This is the single action pull. And then um, double action, I'll simulate the, it going back. Um, if you ever wanted to do it on your own, you can uh, push the hammer down and or pull it, yeah, pull the trigger and then like ease up and then you put it into double action only. So this is double action trigger pull. Okay, for anyone who wanted to see that for whatever reason. And just to show you, I'll cock the hammer. When I put the safety up, um, it's actually very stiff going up when the it's in single action, but it does not decock the hammer as you can see. Um, you would have to do it manually. So there is more, it's more, uh, it's not even dangerous really. You're the best safety. So um, there's just less safeties on this. And it doesn't have like the warning marks on on the side. My Beretta Cheetah actually says it does not fires. It has a typo. They must have, which I like. I'd, I'd personally rather have a more unique firearm in that aspect. But anyway, that's just a quick uh, review of the one I got. Would I buy it again? Would I do hand select again? Yes, I would. Um, I highly recommend it. I was looking at getting one of these because I love the 32 ACP cartridge. I'm hoping it kind of goes up in popularity. Maybe we can get a cool double stack uh, concealed carry, like 20 rounds of 32 ACP. Um, I told Keltec several times to do that, <laughs> but they haven't listened to me yet. Maybe they will one day, I don't know, because um, I think that'd be pretty cool. Ammo is really not that expensive. Um, it's slightly more than nine millimeter and you're not really gonna find cheap ammo. It's just but it's, it's fun to shoot, it's a real pleasure to shoot, and it'll stop a person well enough, uh, especially modern ammunition. I haven't shot this yet, but I'm, I took it apart, cleaned it, the internals are perfect, and the stamps match uh, the exterior as well. Um, don't have too much else to say. I painted the front sight on my own with orange nail polish because it's just a black sight, um, which was kind of hard to see. 
uh, which is the black in my opinion. So either, you know, paint it white or orange. I recommend doing that, but to each their own. That's basically it. Um, that little mark there that's done on purpose, I didn't know that, but it keeps it from shooting out or something like that. I don't know. All the Barettos have it. Uh, that's that's basically it. I, um, I hope I covered everything, and this allows some people to see one more video of the Beretta uh, Model 81. Um, 32 ACP again uh, and I paid uh, 200 it's two hundred nine dollars before shipping and everything and tax uh, hand select you have to add another twenty five dollars I only paid twenty at the time for the hand select but now it's twenty five so all together you're looking at like two hundred thirty five bucks uh, pre tax and pre shipping so it's really a great deal I was looking at one that costed like nine hundred fifty dollars um, it honestly makes sense to even just get it and then sell it like two years later for the people that missed out. I'm 100% positive that there's thousands of people that want these and don't know that they're for sale right now because I was almost one of them. I got lucky, checked the website for surplus because I was bored one night, saw these and almost shit myself. Excuse my language. Um, that's it. Uh, please do like and subscribe. I plan on doing more legal related videos later on once I'm out of law school. I have acquired uh, a couple more firearms, to say the least. Um, so I will be making more videos when I have more time. Um, hope you enjoyed this. And uh, please encourage people and be kind uh, to new shooters. And, um, you know, just create a positive environment rather than taking someone to the range and giving them a huge hand cannon and them never wanting to go out again. That's, that's how you create anti-gun people. But that's just one example. And uh, be polite in conversation. Try to change their mind in a intelligent way. Don't don't hate on their differing opinions. Um, that is all. Uh, thank you. Be safe. Have fun. Happy shooting.